Hey, what's up guys? So you know, it's best. Google has announced Android M and this is their next version of their operating system that is following Android Lollipop. Now, Android Lollipop basically bought a lot of features that changed the way Android looks with their material design. They really changed the UI up. But with Android M, Google's really trying to focus on those features and settings that really make Android unique from other operating systems. And so I have Android M running on my Nexus 6 and I'm gonna show you some of my favorite features so far of this new operating system. Now, the first thing is something that everybody uses on a daily basis and that's the volume controls now you have more options so you control the individual volume for your alarms or for media and other system sounds and basically if you hit the volume button you'll see just a regular volume slider just to turn your sounds all the way off or all the way on but if you hit the little drop down arrow you'll actually see you have three different sliders now to be able to control it and next it looks like google wants to give you more system ui controls with their system ui tuner now this is in the developer version of android m you only get it when you access the developer options but it allows you to rearrange the different toggles that you get when you slide down from the top of the screen. All those different toggles range from flashlight to turn off your cellular capabilities and all those different things. And also there's an option to add one on there. Now you really can't do anything just yet and everybody just kind of speculating, but it looks like you'll be able to add different toggles as you go. So I like that Google is giving you more control over the system UI as a whole. Now, when you normally download an app from the Google Play Store, you have to accept all the different permission requests from that app all at once. But Google is changing that. Now they're going to make it all individual. So once you download an app and you open it and that app is going to need to be able to use your camera, it's going to ask for that permission individually. So you don't have to accept it automatically, but you can choose whether you want to allow that permission for that app. Now, this is how Apple has been doing it on iOS for quite a while now, but it's good to see Google adopting that because this gives the user a little bit more flexibility when it comes to app permission requests. And now speaking of apps, the app and widget drawers have gotten a different type of look, which I'm not really feeling. I like that you can now scroll vertically through them, but the way they have the big alphabet letters on the left-hand side and the, the way the icons are grouped together, you can't really see as many apps on the screen at once, and I'm just not really feeling this look right now. Now, one thing I do like is that it does show your last four recent apps that you've used at the top, but other than that, the look of it, you know, I'm just not really feeling it. But again, this could change in the final version of Android M when it comes out later this year. Now, when it comes to battery, everybody's always trying to squeeze as much battery as you can out of your phone. And Google's taking another step with this software by introducing Doze. And so Doze is gonna use the accelerometer and other things to determine whether or not you're actually using your phone. So say you set that phone down on the table for 15, 20 minutes, or you've just been sitting down with it in your pocket and you haven't touched it in a while. Well, it's gonna determine that and then shut down some of the background processes that don't really need to be going on. And that's gonna help with overall battery life. So that's a really big plus in my book to have software for really take advantage and really determine how much battery your phone should be using. Now, another feature that is aimed to make your life a little bit easier is Smart Lock for Passwords. And this is aimed to allow you to be able to store all of your passwords for third-party apps like Netflix or Instagram, all in the cloud and synced across all of your Android devices so you don't have to remember them. So you don't really need an app like 1Password to be able to store your passwords. You can allow Google to do it for either all of your apps or just certain apps. So again, if you move to your tablet, you can basically just use your Google sign-in and it'll be able to sign you to all those different apps, which is a nice thing to have. Now, more and more phones are allowing you to use your fingerprint to be able to access your phone and do certain things. And Google is now building that fingerprint support inside of Android. So I expect to see a lot more Android phones with fingerprint recognition. But now fingerprints are going to become a little bit more useful because Google has announced Android Pay. Yes, not Apple Pay. It is Android Pay, but it works basically the same way. It's going to allow you to use NFC on your phones to pay for things at Walgreens or Walmart or other different restaurants and stores. It's going to be a ton of stores that support this and so Android Pay is extremely similar to Apple Pay but overall I don't care because it is the best way to be able to use your phone to make purchases at different locations and the last thing is my absolute favorite thing of Android M and it is Google Now on tap now Google Now I already love because it, it's the best way to really keep track of all the things that are going on in your lives and definitely everything you need to do on a daily basis it will remind you of sports team weather all that good stuff but now it's gonna get a lot smarter. So say for instance, you get a text message from your loved one telling you to pick up some eggs or milk or something from the store. Well, it'll actually make a Google Now card because it'll go ahead and read that text message and now it'll go ahead and automatically add that into Google Now and it'll have a reminder. So it'll, if you get close to the store or it gets later on today, it'll remind you that you need to do that. And the same thing works if somebody emails you and asks you if you wanna go watch a movie and they have the title of the movie like Tomorrowland and this demo and you just do a 
quick tap and hold on the home button and now we'll go ahead and bring up information for Tomorrowland. It automatically knows what you're probably going to be looking for and it gives you that information right away. So I love Google Now and Tap and I really just like Android M in general. I think it's a very nice update that's coming to the Android platform. A lot of, a lot, a lot of little things that are really going to be tweaked around to really make sure that you're going to be using Android in the best way and the fastest way as possible. And so basically Google is just doing some fine tuning and tweaking things that people in the Android community have been wanting to be tweaked for a while, but also adding new features that I personally never thought about, like Google Now on Tap. But I really can't wait for this thing to be released. It's going to be coming around quarter three of this year, but you can download the developer preview right now for your Nexus 5, Nexus 6, or Nexus 9. But again, be careful if you put this on your main device. It's not perfect, but uh, if you want to just really get your hands on the latest and greatest right now, you can do that right now. And I'll leave a link down below so you can go ahead and download that. So anyway, guys, this is Android M. Let me know what you think about this new version of Android coming out here from Google. And thanks for watching this video like always, and I will catch you later. Peace.